Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I am here again after a workout when my mind is going. It is January 1st, it is New Year's, so Happy New Year's. My lovely wife assistant who is in the background is filming me today as she went to the, to the gym with me. Today we're still up here in Vallejo, California. But I thought I would do a video today about New Year's resolutions. And so what's gonna be interesting about this video is I thought about releasing it right now on New Year's Day, but I'm not going to. In fact, by the time you see this video, it's probably gonna be a week or two after New Year's. And that sort of goes along with what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So, a lot of people today, and not, not today as you're watching it, but today as I'm, I'm filming it, will be setting New Year's resolutions for themselves, and they will be setting goals for themselves and saying that, I am going to get healthy, I'm gonna start going to the gym, I'm gonna stop eating crap, I'm gonna stop beating my wife, <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing these things, I'm never gonna get angry again, I'm gonna, whatever it is, right? I'm, I'm gonna work harder, I'm gonna read books this year, I'm gonna get a better job, I'm gonna get laid whatever it is <laughs> you know who you are anyway setting all those having those ideas those resolutions it's good but it's also bad and, and here's there's two reasons why why it's bad that I'll tell you the first one is because if you're setting a date to it uh, that's a problem because I'll tell you this Anytime, I don't know about you, but in my experience, probably you've had the same, but any time that I have said tomorrow I'm going to start doing X, or after I eat this big ice cream Sunday, then then it's for real, right? Anytime I've ever said that, I have always failed. And probably you have as well, because the real changes in your life, the real changes that you make are the changes when you are just fed up and you're like, I not one more effing moment of this. I am not going to handle, I'm not going to take this crap anymore. I'm not smoking one more damn cigarette. I am not eating one more damn piece of fried chicken. <laughs> I'm tired of being fat. I am tired of this. And, and when you reach that point, you don't need to say, well, after, you don't, you don't ever say, I am so sick of ice cream. Tomorrow, after I eat this ice cream, I'm done. That doesn't happen. When you're sick of something, you stop then and, and you've had enough. Enough. So, so that's that's the problem. That's that's problem one. Is that when you're setting a date for the resolutions, when you say January first, because it's a new year, when you have a date, that 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 makes it less likely that you're going to succeed. What you should do if you're going to make a change in your life is make the change immediately. If you want to be healthy, you want to start working out, you want to start lifting weights, you want to start running, whatever you're going to do, drop drop everything and start doing it right now. Want to quit smoking? Start right now, not after mid cigarette. Put it out, throw it away, stop right? That's how you get things done. And that's how you know you're serious. And if you can't do that, if you can't, then, then what you need to do is get your mind in the place where you can do that. Because if you think you're going to do it just by saying tomorrow, that's not going to happen. And if you can't do it right now, if you can't immediately make the change, then it's not going to stick because your mind is not in the place where you actually feel that you, where you, you know, as uh, where, where the pain or pleasure, right, where where you believe that it's going to cause you enough pain, uh, that 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 it's it's worth stopping. So that's number one. The second reason why making resolutions in general is bad is because they're usually not very specific, and that's a problem. Now I am all for setting goals, right? You should set goals, and setting goals is really important. Very few people do it. All, uh, so many of the books that I read, you know, one of the number one things they say is how to set goals and why no one does it and why so many people who set goals actually end up being so much more successful than than anyone else so there there's a difference between resolutions and goals most people when they set resolutions what they say is they say look I'm gonna get healthy okay that's great but what the hell does that mean that doesn't mean anything to me right Instead, say, I am going to start running three times a week. In fact, if you want a better goal, set a, set a big goal and then chunk it down, right? So at one point, I know it might not seem like it now, but I was I was I was a fat ass, right? I I was almost 300 pounds. I had you know I won't go into the history, but I had got an injury. I got depressed and I got fat, right? I got out of shape, and so I set a goal of of losing basically 100 pounds, and and I chunked that down into losing five pounds every two weeks, and I chunked that down further by saying this is what I'm gonna do, and I set aside a a goal every day for how many calories uh, what I was gonna eat, and I was gonna run three times 
times a week and I was gonna work out such and such days and this is what I said and so that was very specific and guess what I hit that every single two weeks I was five pounds down and I hit that goal and I hit that big goal but I didn't say I'm just gonna get healthy this year so anyway if I could sum this up just to give you the the, the advice here don't set New Year's resolutions instead what you need to do is is if you want to make changes in your life define a goal a nice big goal chunk it down into little goals have very specific things that you're going to do so you know what you're supposed to do every day or every week that moves you towards that goal and don't make it on a specific day and if you can't do it now if you're not ready right now don't do it. Instead, get your mind in the place. Think about the pain that this thing is causing you. Think about how good your life is going to be after you accomplish this thing. And when you are in that mental place, you'll be able to immediately start. You won't want to eat another ice cream Sunday. You won't want to say after I binge eat or I binge drink tonight, then that's it. You'll say right now, this shit stops right now. So that's it. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel and I'll and, and let me know actually below in the comments what are your non-resolutions? What are your goals, your specific goals that you're going to accomplish in 2016? Let me know. Sound off below and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you next time.